Um, thank you all very much for having me. And the goal of our project is to determine whether focused ultrasound improves intranasal delivery of GDNF plasmid DNA nanoparticles to brain regions involved in Parkinson's disease. GDNF is an endogenous neurotrophic factor that protects and rescues dying dopamine neurons. Intranasal delivery of GDNF nanoparticles bypasses the blood-brain barrier to transfect cells in the brain, increasing production, um, intranasal um, increasing production of GDNF within the brain. Our lab has shown that intranasal GDNF nanoparticles are neuroprotective in a rat model of Parkinson's disease. Parkinson's disease is a neurodegenerative disease that has its major impact on the motor system. It induces a loss of dopamine neurons in the substantia nigra, causing a dopamine deficiency in the corpus striatum. Our goal is to stop the progression of cell death earlier on in the process by increasing the production of endogenous dopamine neurotrophic factor in the brain. This slide shows the setup of our project. We sonicated two sites in the right hemisphere of the brain. One in the forebrain, the B section, and one in the midbrain, the C section, equivalent to the corpus striatum and the substantia nigra areas. We applied focused ultrasound burst at 274 kilohertz together with micro bubbles just before and after intranasal administration of either nanoparticles or saline solution. I did my part of the project later with the control group of rats that received saline. All the focused ultrasound studies were done at, at Dr. Nathan McDaniel's lab at Brigham and Women's Hospital. Um, here's a schematic, sch schematic of our study design. The first two parts focus on the DNA, uh, focus on the GDNA of nanoparticle delivery and transfection. Um, Dr. Wazak following me will talk about that. My part of the project was finding out if under the condition that we were using, focused ultrasound caused microglia rec recruitment regardless of whether nanoparticles were delivered. I used IBA1 immunohistochemistry to detect microglia in the rat brains. In the assay, the primary antibody, anti-IBA1, attached to proteins on the microglia. Then the secondary antibody, Alexa48, which is a green fluorescent dye, attached to the primary antibody, turning the targeted cells green under fluorescent light. When microglia are in the resting state, as demonstrated on the left, their elongated processes could be seen quite clearly, whereas when they're activated, they become amoeboid in shape, as shown on the right. In our assays, microglial labeling was detected on both sides of the brain, both the non sonicated left side and the sonicated right side. Here are some examples. The top two are the BL and BR sections under 20x, and the bottom two are the BL, BR, um, BL, BR sections under 40x. In general, the cells are uniformly spread out and appear to be in their resting state, as their processes could be quite easily seen, for instance, like the ones that are shown in the 40x images. However, on apparent sonication sites, the cells are greater in numbers. They are observed in discrete clumps, like the ones in the pictures, and the cells appear to be activated. They're amoeboid in shape, and their distinct processes can no longer be seen. This shows that in our study, FUS calls the recruitment of microglia, as we never see this pattern of staining with clumps of apparent activated microglia in other non-sonicated areas. To summarize, in our study, we performed IBA1 immunohistochemistry on rats who received intranasal saline together with focused ultrasound to combined with microbubbles. We sonicated two sites, one in the right forebrain and one in the right midbrain. Microglia with a resting morphology were distributed throughout both the forebrain and the midbrain on both sides of the brain. However, at, a, at apparent sonication sites, we observed discrete clumps of IBA1 labeled cells. These cells were amoeboid in shape and looked like activated microglia. These results indicate that under the conditions we used, focused ultrasound caused the recruitment of activated microglia to sonication sites in the rat brain. Um, in the end, I would like to thank all my colleagues at Northeastern University and the people at Brigham and Women's Hospital for their support and help on this project. I would also like to thank the Focused Ultrasound Foundation for their support of our research and for the 2018 Global Internship that I received. Thank you.